Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm really happy you're here. I've got some really good news for you today. Before we get into that, I want to show you where we're at with the guitar. We've got the linings in on both sides, the back and the front on the one side. And as you can see here, and I can't go up there because you won't hear me if I do, but you'll be able to see the lining on the outside here that is uh, been sprayed with water and then clipped to the outside to take the shape of the guitar. I will pull that off once I do the armrest. Now, I want to show you what that's about, but before I do, what do you say we roll that intro and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I'm Monty McKinnon, and today is armrest day, and it's a special day because I want to show you how we're going to do this. So I'm just taking off a few of these just to give you an idea of what we're going to do because this binding hasn't been glued up here because I'm not sure how long it's going to be. The reason is I've got this piece of basswood, and what I've done is I have got this all braced, and I set it down here like so, actually more like this, and then I took a pencil and I went underneath it and I drew a line and when I drew that it gave me the exact curvature here of this side of the guitar. Now I've got some pictures of this on Instagram so you can see this up close if, if that's of interest to you. By all means please do go and, and, and check me out on Instagram because there's well over 1500 pictures there of different stages of guitar builds. So I will then cut this down. I will sand it until it fits exactly into there. When it does, I am then going to take it around here and cut it again and take out about a piece about three quarters to an inch wide. And this, as you can see, is way too thick. It's two inches thick. So I'll run this through the bandsaw and I will cut it in half and then I will glue that in place here and then you're going to see some action happen. It's going to be great fun. Now, special announcement. Let's make it official. Tea with Monty is on. So start sending in your questions and you can use the link down below, Tea with Monty. And as soon as you do that, then I will uh, take those questions, put them together and later this week or early next week, we will have a tea with Monty and I will uh, make that abundantly clear as to when that's coming up. So we've got that all organized and all set. So that's really good news. Now, something else I want to tell you about that has really got me excited. I had a conversation with my son and he mentioned something in passing. As you know, he has some pretty incredible ideas. He said, do you like your shop? And I said, yes, I do. And I'm very happy with it. And he says, what do the shops look like with the people who are watching you? I said, I don't know. He says, why not? So take a picture of your shop and send it in to me. There's a link down below called Shop with Monty. And I want to know what's in your shop. And I'm going to start showing you everything that's in my shop. I do a lot of research when I'm buying equipment and things like that. And we'll go through this one piece at a time and I will explain it to you. But I would like to see what you've got. Now, let's assume you have no shop whatsoever. Where do you start? What's the first thing you need to buy? How do you get started? Let's talk about that. And I'm going to have some ideas and suggestions for you on how you can start building your shop so that you can do things like this or other projects around the home, whether it's building a stool, building shelves for the wall, building a planter, whatever you want to do. Remember, this channel is all about following your passion. This happens to be mine. Let's get into yours and let's share it back and forth. So. There we go. Tea with Monty is coming and shop with Monty is coming. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who would ever believe that we'd be at this point? 
At any rate, I'm so happy you came by today. Thank you very much. If you subscribe, that would be great. Hit the bell, give me a thumbs up, a like, or whatever, whatever it is, and it's down this side. Almost forgot, I almost did this again. So at that point, uh, I'm out of here. I've gotta have my, my English breakfast tea because I am so thirsty today. I don't know what it is. Oh man, this, this, this stuff moves mountains. I'm telling you, it is that good. You really, really, coffee drinkers, listen to me just once. You need to try an English breakfast tea. That's all I'm asking. Write a comment down below. Let me know what you think of it. If you hate it, tell me that and I'll correct you, okay? <laughs> so thank you very much. I'm out of here. Bye for now. Mm.